this Women's History Month, let's recognize the women who helped pave a path for us. Marion Wright Edelman founded the Children's Defense Fund. She taught me to find purpose in compassion and that every child deserves a champion. And her name was Mother Mardell. And I learned so much from this very special person, was a very big role model for me because she did in life what she felt was right for her, regardless of what anyone else thought. Thinking about Geraldine Ferraro, who broke a major glass ceiling in 1984 when she became the first female vice presidential nominee in our nation's history. I literally remember what she was wearing. I remember the red dress, I remember the pearls, because I knew at that moment that anything and everything was possible. I'm so fortunate to have had many wonderful women as role models in my life, and I'm grateful to all of them. When Hillary Clinton spoke in Beijing and declared women's rights are human rights and human rights are women's rights, it reignited my childhood dream of being a public servant and fighting for what matters. She blazed a trail that made that dream possible for me and so many other women. All of us who hold public office today stand on the shoulders of the women who came before us. Grace Hopper, well she was an extraordinary woman who lived an extraordinary life as one of the first women computer scientists. Grace Hopper's incredible story has inspired countless women to pursue an education and career in science and technology. Sandra Day O'Connor, first female Senate Majority Leader in the Arizona State Senate and the first female justice on the United States Supreme Court and a cowgirl from Arizona. The woman who inspired me the most was my own mother who raised seven children, took care of my dad who had multiple sclerosis, went to work every day and made sure our voices and our needs were taken care of. The late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a trailblazing woman for me because in one of her earliest cases that she argued against the Supreme Court was to argue for equal pay and equal benefits for military women. At the time, we still had the WAC, the Women's Army Corps, and because of this ruling that she won, uh, I was able to serve on equal footing as men in my 23 years career in the National Guard. Thank you, RBG. My mother was 50 years old and scared when she applied for her first job. She got that job answering phones at Sears, and she saved our home and saved our family. She taught me that women dig down deep to do what needs to be done. One of my role models was uh, Frankie Sudel Papa. She was uh, the first female attorney general in the state of the Nevada and the longest serving. Marilla Ricker, who actually ran for governor before women had the right to vote. She has been a tremendous historic figure in the state of New Hampshire, and I applaud her and all of the women who came before us. But the one woman who has always been there for me is my mom, Ann Greer. She has quietly broken down barriers throughout her life and has always been there as a role model with strength, courage, and kindness.